Energy enables an object to do work. It appears in many forms. But in this video, we will focus on the two forms of mechanical energy, the potential energy and kinetic energy. Mechanical energy is the energy due to the position or movement of something. It can be in the form of potential energy or kinetic energy. What is the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy? An object may store energy by virtue to its position. That stored energy is called a potential energy. It is named potential energy because in the stored state, it has the potential of doing work. Examples A compressed or stretched spring has the potential for doing work. Or, when a bow is drawn, energy is stored in the bow. The bow can do work on the arrow. There are three types of potential energy. Chemical potential energy, elastic potential energy, and gravitational potential energy. Chemical potential energy is the stored energy in chemical bonds of a substance. It is actually energy of position at a sub-microscopic level. And a substance that can do work through chemical action possesses potential energy. Chemical potential energy is found in fossil fuels, electric batteries, and the foods we consume. Second type of potential energy is the elastic potential energy. It is the energy stored in elastic materials as the result of their stretching or compressing. Elastic potential energy can be stored in the rubber bands, trampolines, or an arrow drawn into a bow. Another type of potential energy is the gravitational potential energy which is the stored energy in an object as the result of its vertical position or height. Examples A child on top of a slide, water at top of a waterfall, or a fruit on the tree before it falls. Now, before we proceed to kinetic energy, try to identify first the types of potential energy possessed by the following objects. How about kinetic energy? A moving object is capable of doing work. It has energy of motion. This energy is called kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of an object due to its motion. Examples, flowing water, a man running. Since these objects are in motion, they possess kinetic energy. To summarize, Potential energy is the stored energy due to object's position, while kinetic energy is the energy due to the object's motion. That ends our lesson today. In the next video, I will discuss the factors that affect the amount of potential energy and kinetic energy possessed by an object. Bye-bye! Thank you for watching!